Hi, welcome to Nasimandra Academy Online Crash Course for Nurses. Medical Surgical Nursing, Continuation of Respiratory Disorders. Part 2, Diagnostic Test, which is used in the respiratory diagnostics. If you didn't subscribe Nursing Mandra YouTube channel until now, please subscribe now and enable the bell icon to get the updated notifications. First uh, test, main important test that is chest x-ray, radiograph. That provides the information regarding the anatomical location and uh, appearance of the lungs. What is the pre-procedure care? Remove all jewelry and uh, other metal objects from the chest area. Assess the patient's ability to inhale and hold his or her breath. Um, and uh, anger female patients regarding pregnancy or any possibility of pregnancy. And post-procedure care means uh, we have to help the patient to get dressed. So uh, for the reading of the chest x-ray, you can see here, uh, this is the outline all bonds. Then uh, this is the AP window, anterior posterior window, and this is carina angle. And check and compare the hilum position, density and uh, morphology, this area. And uh, is the density behind the heart uh, the same on both sides? So both sides the density is same or not. So here it is assessing the heart borders, whether there is any cardiomegaly or anything is there. Okay, the correct heart, the borders and or assessing it. And um, checking the length periphery, any uh, issues are there or not. Then uh, check the soft tissues. Then uh, any sagus corner is there. Check uh, apices for a pneumothorax or any tumor or any cervical rape and all. Uh, and uh, checking the diaphragm area for any gas accumulation. Okay, uh, this is uh, the radiograph chest radiography. If you wish to know more details about this book, feel free to contact me in WhatsApp. WhatsApp link I mentioned in description box. Next uh, um, diagnostic test is sputum specimen collection. So um, specimens obtained by expectoration or tracheal suctioning to assist in the identification of the organism or abnormal cells. What is the procedure care means? The nurse should instruct the patient to rinse the mouth with the water before collection of the sputum. Usually in the prometric exams they are asking what is the education given by the nurse for this uh, collection of the sputum and all. Instruct the patient to rinse the mouth with the water before collection of the sputum. Obtain an early and he should not brush. Okay, and obtain an early morning sterile specimen from suctioning or expectoration. Obtain a 15 ml of sputum. Instruct the patient take several deep breath and then cough deeply to obtain the sputum. Always collect the specimens uh, before the patient begins uh, any antibiotic therapy. In case if you want to start the antibiotic because it is a severe condition sample, you have to inform to the uh, doctor that you are collecting the samples after having this um, antibiotics and you have to inform the lab also. And then post procedure care, if a culture or a sputum is prescribed, the, transport the specimen to the laboratory immediately, assist the patient with the mouth care. Uh, so this is regarding sputum sample collection. So what is sputum characteristics means uh, a profuse amount of a purulent sputum that means a thick and a yellow or a green or rusty colored or change in color of the sputum means it is indicating there is bacterial infection. Thin or a mucoid sputum means uh, that is indicating viral bronchitis. Pink tinged mucoid sputum it is suggesting lung tumor. Profuse uh, frothy or pink uh, material means uh, that is indicating pulmonary edema. Foul smelling sputum and uh, bad breath means uh, abscess, bronchiectasis or uh, infection. This is regarding sputum sample collection. Next is bronchoscopy. 
Bronchoscopy is the direct visual examination of the larynx, trachea and bronchi with the fiber optic bronchoscope. What are the pre-procedure care? We have to uh, obtain the informed consent from the patient. Maintain NBO status for the patient from midnight before the procedure. Obtain the vital signs. Assess, assess the result of uh, coagulation studies. If any dangers are there, you have to remove the dangers and prepare the suction equipment already and establish an IV line and administer medication as prescribed. Have an emergency resuscitation equipment readily available. Post-procedure care means we have to monitor the vital signs, maintain the patient in semi fowless position. So after bronchoscopy, we have to keep the patient in semi fowless position. We have to assess for the return of gag reflux and maintain NBO status until gag reflux returns. Have an emesis basin readily available for the patient to expectorate the sputum. Monitor for a bloody sputum. Monitor for complications such as a bronchospasm or a bronchial perforation indicated by facial and neck crepitus. Uh, there will be dysrhythmias, a fever, bacteremia, then hemorrhage, hypoxemia and pneumothorax. You have to monitor for all these complications. Inform the physician if fever, breathlessness or other signs of complication occurs following the procedure. This is related to the bronchoscopy. Now next uh, diagnostic test is pulmonary angiography. Pulmonary angiography means the invasive fluoroscopic procedure in which uh, you can see there is a catheter that is inserted through the anticubital or a femoral vein into the pulmonary artery or uh, one of its branches involves injection of iodine or a radio opaque contrast material is injecting. After that this catheter is inserting and it is reaching into the pulmonary artery. Pre-procedure care means we have to obtain, obtain the uh, informed consent from the patient. We have to assess for any allergies to seafood or iodine or other radio diet. dye. Maintain NBO status for the patient for 8 hours before the procedure. Vital signs monitoring. Uh, assault, assess the result of uh, coagulation studies. Uh, then uh, establish an uh, IV assess. Administer the sedation if prescribed. Instruct the patient to lie still during the procedure and inform that he or she may feel an urge to cough, flushing, nausea or a salty test following injection of the dye. So it will be the, this uh, test and these complications. Have emergency resuscitation equipment ready, readily available at the bedside. Post procedure care, we have to monitor the vital signs, assess the catheter insertion site for any bleeding, avoid taking blood pressure for 24 hours in the extremity used for the injection. Monitor peripheral neurovascular status of the affected extremity, monitor for delayed reaction to the dye. This is related to the pulmonary angiography. Now thoracenesis. Thoracenesis is the removal of the fluid from the pleural space via the transthoracic aspiration. Pre-procedure care means we have to obtain the informed consent, obtain vital signs, prepare the patient for an ultrasound or a chest radiograph if prescribed before the procedure, assess the result of a coagulation studies, note the patient is sitting upright uh, with the arms and shoulders supported by a table at the bedside during the procedure as shows in the picture. Instruct not to cough or breathe deeply or move during the procedure. Post-procedure care, we have to monitor the vital signs and respiratory status, apply a pressure dressing and assess the puncture site for any bleeding or any crepitus, monitor for signs of pneumothorax, air embolism and pulmonary edema. Next test is pulmonary function test. Pulmonary function test it is used to evaluate the lung mechanics, how the gas exchange is taking place and acid-base disturbance through spirometric measurements, lung volume and arterial blood gas levels. Pre-procedure care. Determine whether an analgesic that may depress the respiratory function is being administered or not. Consult with the physician regarding holding of bronchodilators before testing. Remove the dangers and instruct to avoid before the procedure and to wear loose clothing. Instruct the patient to refrain from smoking or eating a heavy meal 4 to 6 hours before the test. 
പോസ്റ്റ് പ്രൊസീജിയർ കെയർ മീൻസ് പേഷ്യന്റ് മേ റെസ്യൂം നോർമൽ ഡയറ്റ് ആൻഡ് എനി ബ്രോങ്കോ ഡയലേറ്റേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് റെസ്പിറേറ്ററി ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ്സ് ദാറ്റ് വെർ വിത്ത് ഹെൽഡ് ബിഫോർ ദ പ്രൊസീജിയർ വാട്ട് എവർ ഇസ് വിത്ത് ഹെൽഡ് ദാറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി റെസ്യൂം ദിസ് ഇസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ദ പൾമറി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ടെസ്റ്റ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ലങ് ബയോപ്സി A percutaneous lung biopsy uh, that is performed to obtain uh, tissues for analysis uh, by the culture or a site. Sometimes it is doing cytological examination also. A needle biopsy is done to identify the pulmonary lesion is there or not. Changes in the lung tissue and the causes for the pleural effusion and all. Pre-procedure care means uh, we have to obtain the informed consent and maintain NBO status for the patient before the procedure. Inform that a local anesthetic will be used, but a sensation of pressure during needle insertion and aspiration may be felt. Administer the analgesics and sedatives as prescribed. Post-procedure care means uh, we have to monitor the vital signs, apply a dressing uh, to the biopsy site and uh, we have to monitor for the drainage or there is any bleeding. then we have to monitor the respiratory distress and uh, inform the physician if any complications of course monitor for the signs of pneumothorax and air emboli prepare the patient for a chest radiography if uh, prescribed this is regarding lung biopsy next is uh, ventilation perfusion lung scan continuation of this video and more system wise crash course feel free to contact nursing mandra whatsapp number plus 9715025157117 please check the description for whatsapp link dha mh ha saudi prometric oman prometric bahrain prometric qatar prometric anglo saran cbt exam we are providing system based crash course videos respiratory system cardiovascular system end system ophthalmic system nervous system gastrointestinal system urinary system reproductive system musculoskeletal system endocrine system dermatology child health nursing maternal health nursing community health nursing mental health nursing fundamentals of nursing includes calculations nutrition research and statistics online crash course anytime you can study with an internet connection for reference you can watch system based crash course videos in nursing mandra youtube channel for full detailed crash course video with picture feel free to contact me in my whatsapp